Good day everyone. Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. This time, we will be discussing finding the zeros, the asymptotes, and the intercepts of exponential functions. Example number one. We have g of x is equal to 3 raised to 3x minus 1 minus 1. So remember that g of x can be written as y. So this is 3x minus 1 minus 1. To solve for the zeros, always set y to 0. So this is 0 equals 3 raised to 3x minus 1 minus 1. Transpose 1 to the other side. That will be 1 equals 3 raised to 3x minus 1. How are we going to solve for x? Because the value of x here will be the 0 or the zeros. So let us make this an exponential equation by writing this as base 3. So I can write it as 3 raised to 0 since any base other than 0 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So 3 raised to 3x minus 1. Okay? So our exponential equation then is 0 equals 3x minus 1. Solving for x. This will be 1 equals 3x divided by 3 divided by 3. x is equal to 1 third. Okay. Now, how are we going to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept? To find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, Set x to 0 first. I am finding the y-intercept. Okay? So, this is 3 raised to 3 times 0 minus 1 minus 1. So, y is equal to 3, 0 minus 1 minus 1. So, y is equal to 3 raised to negative 1 minus 1. y equals 1 third minus 1. So, y is equal to... So, this is 1 minus 3 over 3. Y is equal to negative 2 over 3. So, this one is your y-intercept. Remember that y-intercept is a point that lies on the y-axis. So, meaning to say, since we are looking for the point, we will be representing this as a point. So, that will be 0. Your x is 0. Ordered pair x, y. And your y is negative 2 thirds. Okay. What about our x-intercept? Our x-intercept, again, you have to set y to 0. So that will be 0 is equal to 3 raised to 3x minus 1. So that will be 1 again. 3 raised to 3x minus 1. So, 3 raised to 0 is equal to 3 raised to 3x minus 1. And then, 0 equals 3x minus 1. 1 equals 3x divided by 3 divided by 3. x is equal to 1 third. So, your x-intercept, therefore, is 1 third, 0. Okay. So, those are the x and y-intercepts. This time, let's find the asymptote. In an exponential function, there is no vertical asymptote. Take note of that. There is only a horizontal asymptote. And that horizontal asymptote, this is the horizontal as asymptote, that horizontal asymptote can be identified by these numbers here. So, meaning to say, your graph will not move to negative 1 down. Meaning, this is asymptotic to y is equal to negative 1. So, your range will be the set of all exists. Since your base is 3, this one is an increasing function. Y rather, this is Y such that Y is greater than negative 1. Okay. Now, what about your interval notation? That will be 
negative 1 up to positive infinity. That's it. Now, for number 2, again, let's find first the 0. So, the 0 will be h of x is equal to 1, 4, raised to 2x minus 3 minus 8. So, let's find the 0, set y to 0. 1, 4, raised to 2x minus 3 minus 8. That will be 0 plus 8, that is 8. 1, 4, 2x minus 3. Next. I will be writing this as base 3, I base 2 rather, and then this one is 2, 2 cube is 8, 2 raised to negative 2, that will be 1 4, and then I will multiply it by 2x minus 3. This one is an exponential equation now, this is 3 equals negative 4x positive 6. Solving for x, 3 minus 6 equals negative 4x. Negative 3 equals negative 4x divided by negative 4 divided by negative 4. x is equal to positive 3 fourths. Okay. This positive 3 fourths is the zero of the exponential function h of x. We can already identify the x-intercept, meaning the x-intercept will be 3 fourths and 0. 3 fourths double 0. Now, what about the y-intercept? The y-intercept can be solved, remember, by, by setting x to 0. So, y equals 1 fourth, 2 times 0 minus 3 minus 8. So, this is y equals 1 fourth, negative 3, 2 times 0 is 0, minus 8. So, this is y equals... You get the reciprocal of this that will be equal to 4 raised to positive 3. Okay, if you get the reciprocal, make sure that you reverse the sign. So this is minus 8. And 4 cubed is 4 times 4, 16 times 4, it's 64 minus 8. Okay, so this one is y is equal to 56. Okay, 56 plus 8 is 64. Okay, so your y-intercept is 0, positive 56. Okay, next, what about your horizontal asymptote? Again, there is no vertical asymptote. Your horizontal asymptote is negative 8, meaning to say... Since this one is one-fourth, this one is a decreasing function, it's negative a, meaning it will never go on the horizontal line y is equal to negative a. Therefore, your range will be y such that y is greater than negative a. So in interval notation, this is negative a up to positive infinity. Okay, that's it. Always remember that. Again, this one is your horizontal asymptote. Your graph will never touch these lines. Okay? They are just asymptotic. Next, number three. G of x is equal to 4 raised to x. So this one is y is equal to 4 raised to x. This is 0, 4 raised to x. In this case, we cannot solve it. So therefore, there is no 0. The function of g of x does not exist. Okay, there's no 0 here. Now, if there is no 0, meaning to say there is no x-intercept also. But there is a y-intercept. And the y-intercept here is... 4 raised to 0, 1. So we have 0, 1. Okay. Now, remember that there is no plus nor minus here. Meaning to say, 
your horizontal asymptote is at x is equal to 0. Or y rather is equal to 0. So therefore, your range will be from 0 and up. So that will be greater than 0 or 0 positive infinity. Okay? Let us go to number 4. Number 4, m of x. So we have y is equal to 8 raised to 2x plus 1 minus 1 fourth raised to x. Okay? So we let this as 0. 8, 2x plus 1 minus 1 fourth raised to x. We transpose this. This is 1 fourth equals 8 raised to 2x plus 1. This one has x. Okay. So I can write this as base 2. So that is 2 raised to negative 2x. This is 2 raised to negative positive 3. 2x plus 1. So I can now cancel it. It's negative 2x equals 6x plus 3. So this is negative 2x minus 6x equals 3. Negative 8x equals 3. Negative 8, negative 8. X is equal to negative 3 over 8. Okay. So this one is the zero of this function. And the x-intercept is negative 3 over 8, comma, 0. Let's find now the y-intercept. The y-intercept, you set x to 0. That will be y equals 8, 2 times 0 plus 1, minus 1 fourth raised to 0. y is equal to 8, 0 plus 1 is 1. This is 1, and a base raised to 0 is equal to 1. So y is equal now to 7. So therefore, your x or y intercept rather is 0, 7. What about the horizontal asymptote of number 4? m of x is equal to 8 raised to 2x plus 1 minus 1 fourth raised to x. In this case, we cannot identify whether this one is an increasing or decreasing function. This one is a combination of increasing and decreasing function. And this one is minus. There is no horizontal asymptote. Why? Because when you graph this one, it covers all the x's and all the y's. Meaning, it covers all the values of x from negative infinity, positive infinity, and it covers all the y's from negative infinity up to positive infinity. That's why there is no horizontal asymptote.